Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Southern Boy Farm. I'm Kelvin, and tonight, the moment I have been waiting for, perhaps you have too, but it's been my anticipation, is to be able to dig into a watermelon that I have grown. You know, I was in uh, Sam's Club earlier today, and they had watermelons there, and they were $7.99 each and they were only about four times larger than this. So the fact that this cost me a couple of seeds, a few dollars in electricity for the water pump, and just some time, I can deal with that. So they say that once the tendril nearest to the watermelon has dried, in case it would be this one here, then the watermelon is ready. So. With great anticipation, I ran inside, grabbed the camera, and here we go. All right, so now I've snipped it. It has a little yellow on it. All right. Not huge, but I'll take it. And, uh... But I'm just ready to chomp into it. So let's do this. Okay. So it is a darker shell than most other watermelons. And this is the black tail. It was actually the third set of watermelon seeds that I planted. Not too bad. I'm going to take it. I'm going to deal with it. I'm definitely going to eat it, okay? But I can see where people have said, oh, it's got a ton of seeds, because it does have a ton of seeds. And when we were kids, uh, the old folks used to say, you know, if you eat the seeds in the watermelon, it's going to grow into a plant in your stomach and you're going to die. I don't know why people say these things to kids, because it will stick with you. So that I don't seem like a little piglet out here, I brought a spoon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, I got spit seeds. The seeds are tiny and I could eat them, but you know what the old folks said, right? <laughs> okay, so I could sit here and eat the whole entire thing, but I want to continue on with the watermelon update. So I'm going to take another bite. And let's get on with this update. Besides, I'm sure someone else in the house will want to have some too. All sweet watermelon, one of the three that has survived. And for a while there, I thought it was going to die also. If you notice over here, the end of it died off. But now I see over here that that's grown up. And that over there is more sweet potato slips. All right. Well, let's go on and check on the bush sugar baby. Lots of catering summer events, and I haven't had a ton of time to get out here and attend to the children. But I'm noticing this one here. It is time to order the fruit nets. My second spring, as I call it, second spring, um, will be in August. So in August of this year, which is just in another two months, I can go ahead and replant some short season watermelon seeds and uh, get them in because we won't start getting into uh, regular night temperatures below 70 until mid to late December. That's our winter. So yeah, 
that's it i'm pretty happy i need to get back to my watermelon here don't mean to be rude i do love you because love yourself love everybody around you cost you nothing but it means so much all right be sure to give a thumbs up thumbs down god bless america i don't mind which but leave me some comments let me know why you did a thumbs down all right okay so until the next time bye